Sagocha. Hey everyone, this is Amber from DSA Threads and today I'm going to show you how I made an Italian pocket from the 16th century, also called a Sacocha, using my computer. So to start out, I went to this particular model book from 1564 by Foresto. I looked at this particular pattern and I just thought this would be perfect for putting into a Sacocha. This is the bottom part and then this is the top half. So I went ahead and put that into my digitizing software and then just did the bottom and the top separately and connected them. So now it's time to put it in a hoop and get ready to stitch. Here I am cutting out the basic pattern I made. Yes, I know I'm using fabric scissors, it's horrible. <laughs> and then here I am just cutting out a rough amount of fabric using the pattern. All right, so here is my hoop. It's a huge hoop. It is eight by 12. You can kind of see the comparison with my hand. It's huge, I love it. So in order to float it and to make sure that it stays, um, we just go in and lightly spray with a basing spray. And then we have this piece of fabric that we've cut roughly the size, like slightly larger than the size of our, our pattern. And then I'm just gonna I love how I'm using Royal We. I don't know what that is about. <laughs> I never know. Like, yes, we are a company, and I say we for company, but like, I, I don't know. Don't know, guys, I don't know. Okay, so there we go. You can see that it's sticking to there really well. And now we're just gonna stick this in the machine and let it do its work. All right, here we have the machine with the pattern all ready to go and the fabric in the hoop in the machine as well. I'm starting and trying out this metallic thread by Madeira. I find that it doesn't break a lot. Hopefully, fingers crossed, that's the case this time. But it should give us like a really nice metallic finish on here. Here you can see the final. And just because I needed to be extra, I went in and decided to make the whole thing applique and put it on some silk dupioni. This is where I stitched around the opening slit and this is it reversed. Here I am pinning the applique and stitching it out and this is what it looks like after it's been stitched. This part has been stitched on, then we've got um, because when I was stitching this on, it went slightly through to the other side on this thing, which is kind of good because it stabilizes it. Um, I went and um, stitched this here to itself. So we've got the stitching like this, and then I went and put this part on here, and now I'm gonna flip it inside out. Here I am stitching the ends on the top portion, attaching them. Here's the back side of how I attached it, folding over to the other side. Here is the finished product. I used a bodkin to sort of thread the lace through. And then I played dress up. If you liked this video, feel free to visit my blog, like, and subscribe this channel.